Welcome to Destructive News, everybody. In today's video, we got three Niggly Bears with a possible two additional suspects that are still on the loose. The community knows who they are. They know who these kids are. They know who they hang out with. They know who would have done a robbery with them. Uh, but they uh, met face to face with the uh, the homeowner that they tried to uh, remove his possessions at gunpoint in he put up a fight. Let's check out the story. Police tell us they are two 16-year-olds and a 15-year-old, all from Conyers. Channel 2's Aaron Diamond, money. live in Rockdale County. Aaron oh, investigators say these teenagers were trying to rob that homeowner like when he pulled out his own gun. Yeah, this is where the drama went down, Joe Vita. And investigators are still trying to sort out why those three teenagers, 15 and 16-year-old brothers plus another 16-year-old boy, showed up here wearing masks. The sheriffs told us one of them had a gun and ran into a man who lives here. They really don't know why five black teenagers, one of them with a gun, would be walking towards a house with a mask on. It's fascinating. With an even bigger gun. I was scared. My um, ears was ringing. That first shot had my ears ringing. Asteria Williams a told gun. us she hit her bedroom floor when she heard gunshots just feet from her window overnight. My room is right here. I'm Here right hand. here by it. Rockdale County Sheriff's deputies spent hours Monday collecting evidence on White Oak Court after a man who lives in this home shot and killed three be a lot of black teenagers. People there. He can you know there's a lot of black people there when your law enforcement is predominantly black. Sheriff's deputies spent hours Monday collecting evidence on White Oak Court after a man who lives in this home shot and killed three masked teenagers he confronted on the front lawn. He's a nice dude. He's a nice, caring dude. If they would have knocked on the door, asked him for anything, he would have given it to them. Williams. He's a nice dude. Earlier, while investigators worked the scene, he didn't have to kill them. Frustration from this group, who wouldn't give their names, but told my colleague Sophia Choi they're related to one of the teens who died. There's no trespassing supposed to go. Thing. Hold on, let's go back. He didn't have to kill them. Off. They would have knocked on the door, asked him for anything. He would have gave it to them. He's a nice dude. Earlier, while investigators worked the scene, he didn't have to kill them. Frustration from this group, who wouldn't give their names, but told my colleague Sophia. Look at that. All kids, essentially, teenagers, young adults, all geared up, name brand everything, Jordans, weave flowing. And this chick got a whole baby just slung on the side of her. And uh, this chick, she's not she's not holding on to a lawnmower. That is a baby stroller. Just kids and babies. That's that's the black community, man. Kids and babies. Choi, they're related to one of the teens who died. It's not how it's supposed to go. I understand one shot to stop the people, the victims or whatever, but aggressively to shoot these little teens. Investigators worked the scene. What? He didn't have to kill them. Frustration. He didn't have to kill them. They had a gun, and in the news report, said that they shot first. He lit they ass up, sent them to heaven. Good on him. From this group, who wouldn't give their names, but told my colleague Sophia Choi they're related to one of the teens who died. It's not how it's supposed to go. Of course it's not how it's supposed to go. They were supposed to take this dude's stuff for whatever he wanted, break into his house, do whatever to the people that were inside. Uh, the story reads that he had a, an elderly mother that he cared for, and that is why he had the AR-15. And yeah, he lit them up with an AR-15. I understand one shot to stop the people, no. the victims or whatever, but... Bad shots. Aggressively, the... Look at that dumb tattoo on his chest. I don't know if that's a cross or an X. X marks the spot. Shoot these little teens. That's a target. That's that's an overkill. He, he probably wouldn't want us with him. to handle. Neighbor Carlos Watson told us the gunfire woke him up. Then a small army of deputies flooded the cul-de-sac within minutes. Chaos, chaos. I moved here from Chicago, so it kind of oh yeah, he put me like back he into a mindset. Him. I didn't know what was happening initially, and uh, I just wanted to make sure everybody was okay. And while investigators worked to understand exactly what led to the shooting for Asteria Williams, it's sad. You shouldn't risk your life for nothing like that because you can't get it back now they gone and it's sad not really well the sheriff would not uh give us the names of those three teenagers he of did course. tell us investigators are still trying to interview those who knew them trying to figure out why they showed up here sheriff told us the homeowner has been 
released for now. As soon as we get any updates, we'll, of course, bring them to you. For now, we're live in Rockdale County, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News. Released for now? He should stay released forever. He was defending his property. And look, clearly had a no trespassing sign that says violators may be shot. Looks like he lived the life that he proclaimed. And uh, there was a fake Yeezy they left on the lawn, shot the little dude out of his shoes. R.I.P. Lil Poop Poop. Well, what do you guys think of the story? What do you guys think of this? Beto trying to take away people's uh, AR-15s and the anti-gunners talking about how we don't need AR-15s. What do you need an AR-15 for? Nobody needs that to protect themselves. You're a coward. So he's supposed, So this, this old dude is supposed to fist fight five teenagers by himself. No. AR-15. Clear the scene. Let us know how you think about the story, our opinions. Drop a drop the message in the comment section. Share the video. Like the page. Let us know what you think. Get in that comment section, and we'll see you on the next one.